So moving on to chapter 7, we're going to start with enumerated data types. Enumerated data types are essentially user-defined data types that you can use to create short lists. So if you read through a little bit of chapter 7, you will notice that they have used the enumerated data type to create a list of colors or a list of sports. Um, and in order to do this, you have to have a name for your data type, a set of values that you want to include in there, and a set of operations. We don't have a set of operations. We are just going to have a name, and we're going to have a set of values, and we're going to see how we can use this enumerated data type. So take a look at what we have here. We have um, two enumerated data types, size and color. So size has three values to it, small, medium, large, and color has three values, red, green, and blue. Now we have some utility functions that if you notice I've commented out, we will take a look at that later. But let's see how we can use these enumerated data types. Notice it's called size, it has a capital S, just to say it's a user-defined data type, and so does color, those are the names. Enum is our reserved word, and the values are within curly brackets. It's a set of values. So then we come into main. So notice those are outside main. The user-defined data type itself is declared outside of main, so all the functions and main can use it. Then we come inside main, and we declare variables of our data type. So for example, my color and your color are two variables of our data type color. And my size and your size are two variables of our data type size. And we initialize my color to green and my size to medium. So now let's come here and see what we have done with the other two variables, your color and your size. The first statement says your color equals my color. So we can have an assignment statement where we take one enumerated type and put it into another variable of the same type. The next one has a cast, a static cast. And what we're doing here is we're doing an addition operation. You can do an arithmetic operation on the data type, uh, on the variable, my size. I add 1 to it, so my size happens to be medium. If I add 1, it's going to move on to the next one, which if you look in my set of values, happens to be large. If you add, um, so it goes 0, 1, and 2. So 1 plus 1 would be 2, which would be large. So we need to do the operation and static cast it to be able to assign it to another variable of the same data type. So unlike just assigning a value, if you want to add a number to it, then we need to static cast it to convert it back to that data type before we assign it. So then we print it. Notice it says my color is my color and your color and my size and your size. So if we run this code as is and take a look at it, notice it says my color is 1, my size is 1, your color is 1, and your size is 2. Remember, we added 1 to, our, um, to my size, and it became 2. But what do we do with all these numbers? It does not make any sense. Nobody's going to understand if you say my color is 1 or 2. So we need to put some words to those numbers which is why we have our utility functions. So let's uncomment these utility functions and see what they do. The first one is called color to string, and it takes our enumerated data type. So we see how to pass the enumerated data type to a function. So we pass it just as a regular any other data type. Um, the data type is called color, and the parameter name is called color. And we have our string, which is what is getting returned. So let's go down and uncomment all our functions here. Uncomment that, go back up, and also make sure we use these functions. So let's go first take a look and see what these functions do. So color to string, for example, receives an enumerated data type as a parameter, and our job is to Take a look at that color, and if it says it's red, which is 0, notice it says red equals 0. Instead of outputting 0, we want it to output red. So we return the string, notice we are returning a string, red. 
and if it is green we return the string green and if it is blue we return the string blue if not we say unknown and the same with size and what are all these return values doing here in main so when we print and say see out my color is my color instead of simply saying my color we call our function which happens to be color to string copy that and come here to my see out statement and put a function call and pass my enumerated variable to it so what's going to come back here what's going to be returned here is my string whatever color it may be and it's going to get output likewise i'm going to say the same thing here I'm going to change that in a minute to say size to string instead of color to string because that's what that is. So we call the appropriate functions and do the same for the other two cout statements. And if it is size, change it to size to string and the other one says color to string. And we pass our your color, my color, my size, your size all of those variables to that function and what comes back is actually good strings like red and green and medium and large and that will get output instead of the numbers. So these are some things that you will have to do if you use the enumerated data type. So now it says my color is green, my size is medium, your color is green and your size is large because we assigned the same color. We said my color is equal to your color so it's the same color and we added a one so you can do other operations on it. If you want to, you can subtract, you can add two as long as it doesn't go beyond. And if it goes beyond, it's going to say unknown because that's what um, we have said in our description. So that is enumerated data types.